Just like you, I'm always looking for new ways to earn passive income. And today, I've got a new project I want to share with you that I think has some great potential. The project is called Star Power. Star Power's vision is to connect distributed energy devices through IoT, blockchain, and AI, creating a flexible network that supports virtual power plants. It also serves as an energy stabilizer for AI systems, helping ensure stable power supply by balancing fluctuations with its decentralized energy resources. So as you can tell, Star Power has some pretty ambitious goals. But the real question here is how is Star Power going to affect people like me and you? And a better question, how can we earn from it? Well, that's what we're going to find out today. So without further ado, let's get into it. Now to get a solid understanding of what Star Power intends to do, let's take a look at their roadmap. So as you can see, the first step in their roadmap is to develop all-in-one energy solutions from hardware, software, to blockchain technology. And that includes devices such as smart plugs, thermostats, home storage batteries, and EV chargers. These are all the hardware components that they're planning to release. Today, we're going to be setting up the star plug, and I'll show you just how easy it is to get up and running and start earning right away. But these hardware devices are simply the foundation of the star power ecosystem. From there, these will be integrated into major energy device companies to ensure everyone can use star power to monitor, control, and manage a wide range of energy resources. Now, the real question here is why is this important? How can this affect people like me and you? Well, let me give you a prime example. Let's say you have an electric vehicle. And after work, you bring it home, you plug it in, and charge it. That way you're ready for the next morning. But what does that really do to your power bill? Yeah, your personal power bill at your home. Well, let's take a look at the rates here in Idaho to understand what the difference between peak power and off-peak power usage is. So as you can see, there's already a huge difference between summertime power usage and non-summertime power usage. Now, in the summertime, the peak hours are 7 p.m. to 11 p.m. And at those times of the day, they're going to charge you 24.647 cents per kilowatt hour. Now, off-peak hours, they're going to charge you 6.16 cents per kilowatt hour. That is a four times increase on what you're going to pay if you utilize energy during the peak hours versus off-peak hours. But even in the wintertime, on-peak hours is 12.77 cents per kilowatt hour and off-peak is 8.51 cents per kilowatt hour. That's still a 30% increase. But the real question is, how can we avoid paying these exuberant fees? Well, it's really simple. Remember the example of the electric car that you plug in when you get home from work? What if you plugged in your car when you got home at 530, but instead of immediately charging, it recognized that your vehicle still has a half a charge. So if you got to go to the grocery store, that's fine. There's still enough to get you there. But instead of immediately charging your car, it decides to wait until off peak hours at 11 p.m. at night. And that is when it turns on the power and starts charging. That way you're paying a quarter of the price during the summertime of what you would be paying if you charge it immediately when you plugged it in. So as you can tell, utilizing smart devices to move those high wattage loads to off-peak hours is drastically going to reduce your power bill and help you save some money. But on top of that, by moving those loads to off-peak hours will also help reduce the carbon footprint of these power plants. That will help us make a greener planet. All the way around, it's a win-win scenario. Now, when we couple that with the next step on the roadmap, by partnering together with companies like Tesla, Mercedes, Franklin Whole Home, and Nest, this allows us to use these smart devices along with home storage batteries to help reduce the load across the network and even build virtual power plants. Now, contrary to popular belief, a virtual power plant is not all about just supplying power. It actually has to do with reducing the power load at those peak times. And Star Power represents an innovative model in the energy sector, leveraging advanced technologies such as IoT devices, blockchain, and artificial intelligence. It connects a wide range of energy devices, including household appliances like air conditioners and water heaters, as well as large-scale units like storage batteries, into a cohesive and responsive network. This network forms the backbone of a new kind of virtual power plant, one that is decentralized, efficient, and responsive to the dynamic needs of the energy market. Now, this is a great thing because that means people like myself who may not be able to run solar panels or wind turbines, I can still participate in the virtual power plant and get rewarded for it by simply reducing the load on my high energy devices at those peak hours. Now, one thing I always recommend when you're doing your own research on a new crypto project, go in and find out what have they done so far? What kind of partnerships have they built? Are these the type of foundational components required to make this project successful? Well, if we take a look in 2023 in the 19 Asian Games, 
they were able to do a 10% reduction in electricity consumption. That's right. 10% over a venue of that size is absolutely huge. But they've also partnered up with Redux, which is one of the foremost global institutions in renewable energy certificate issuance and Asia's largest renewable energy certificate exchange, as well as they've done a collaboration with Alpha ESS batteries. And through this innovative collaboration, hundreds of thousands of Alpha ESS batteries are now capable of generating new revenue streams, demonstrating the vast potential of our combined technology in advancing the green energy sector. Then when you look at their partnership with Karma Autos. Now Karma Auto is an emblem of luxury and innovation in the electric supercar market. And Star Power will offer a unique incentive program providing carbon credits and rewards to Karma EV owners, further cementing Karma Auto's position as a leading environmentally friendly supercar brand. That's pretty impressive. Then when we look at their partnership with ShineHub. ShineHub is Australia's premium virtual power plant service provider and has seen its capabilities and user base grow exponentially with Star Power support, but also highlights Star Power's pivotal role in driving the expansion of sustainable energy solutions across Australia and beyond. Now, one thing history has taught us is that just having great partnerships and a solid roadmap is not enough. There has to be a few more benefits to make a deep in project successful. The first is there has to be a benefit to the users, not just earning crypto, but an actual benefit. Well, the great thing about Star Power is that through their cell phone app, I can monitor my power usage of my Star Plug as well as turn it on and off simply through the cell phone app. That's right. So right there, I can help myself save money on my power bill at home. Now, the second part has to be adoption. I mean, after all, if people don't get behind the project, what goods are going to do? So you've got to build it on a foundation that everybody can get behind. Now, let's think about it. Everything in technology, everything we do is operated by electricity. So what better foundation to build a deeper end project on than the power grid? I mean, that's the best way to go, right? To me, electricity is like the next gold rush. The people who are harnessing that energy and utilizing that to build revenue, they're the ones who are going to make the big gains. Not the miners, not the ones who are trying to scrape together a ZeFi project, but the ones built on the very foundation that all those operate on. That is the electrical power grid. And the third thing is it has to have a reasonable barrier of entry. I mean, after all, if the devices are too expensive, people aren't going to buy them and they're not going to grow the project to full potential, regardless of how good the roadmap is. That's what I love about the Star Plug. It costs $109. And if you use one of the affiliate links in the description down below, be sure to use the discount code Serenity to save a little money. Now, if you're wondering if the Star Plug can be ran in your region, check out the options on the order page. Well, here we're in the United States, which has the same connection as Mexico, Canada, place like that. But... You can also go in places like Korea, Europe, or Russia. Or if you're in one of the Asian regions, you can get a star plug for that area. Also, even over in Australia. All these different configurations you can get. On top of that, you can order as many as you want all at the same time. So there's absolutely no limit on the number of star plugs you can have set up in your own home. That's right. You can set one up for every outlet you have in your house if that's what you choose to do. But setting them up is actually really simple. Let me show you how real quick. Now, once you've received your star plug, it's going to come completely set up and ready to go. That's right. Devices right there already has the right connection. The first step we have to do is we've got to go download the app for our star plug. So go to the main website here and click download app. From there, it's going to give you an option for iOS, Android, and Galaxy Store. So using your cell phone's camera, go and scan the appropriate QR code for your cell phone device. Now, once you've got that downloaded and installed, your Star Power app will look very similar to what you see here on mine. Now, I already have a couple Star Plugs onboarded, so mine's going to look a little bit different. But next thing you want to do is power up your Star Power device. And once you've done that, you can see it's going to flash the green lights. So we're ready to go over to the device tab. Go ahead and click the plus symbol at the very top. And it's going to tell you to plug in your device, make sure it's ready to go. Once it is, go ahead and click next. From there, it's going to start scanning for this particular device. Now, once it comes up with the device, you can verify this information on the back of the device. But I know this is the only one I'm onboarding right now. So we're going to go ahead and select that one there. It says the device is currently connecting. Now it's going to ask, what Wi-Fi do I want to use? Well, I'm using my main house one, which is Longman. So we'll go and do that. And it's going to ask me to enter my password. Now, once I confirm my password, it's going to go and connect to the Wi-Fi network and connect the star plug to that device. Now, the great thing is, once this is connected, I do not have to worry about if I unplug this device, move it to another appliance, 
it will automatically reconnect to the house network and be connected to my dashboard. Next, it's going to verify, do I have the right device info? Now, the first time this came up, these boxes were blank. I simply told it to load again. Then it populated the boxes. If all that's correct, go ahead and click next. Now it's going to ask me, do I want to bind the device to my Star Power account? And yes, I do. Go ahead and click next. Now the next screen is going to ask me to verify that that's the location I'm setting this up in. And if it is, go ahead and click claim. And there you go. Our Star Plug is onboarded. It's going to start earning. So if we go into it right now, it's going to say currently there is no power usage. Today's power consumption is zero because I don't have anything plugged into it. Now, a real important detail, you must have an appliance or something plugged into your star plug to start earning. So don't think that you can just plug it in the wall and forget about it. It has to have something plugged into it. Now, if you want to turn the power on and off, simply tap the switch here at the top corner. There we go. Slide it over to turn it on. Once it's green, you'll show power. But if you want to shut it off, go and slide it back over where it's gray, and then you'll watch the power turn off right there. So you can control whatever you plug in directly from your cell phone. So now we come to the point in time, everybody's looking for that one critical answer, which is how much can I earn? Well, sadly, I hate to tell you, none of us can answer that. You see, the token generation event has not occurred yet. Star Token will not be launched until quarter four of 2024. So during this test phase, we'll actually be earning T-Star tokens or test tokens that'll have a direct correlation to the Star Token once mainnet launches. Now, the second token we'll be earning is the Nova token, and that's based on our grants. So let's take a look at our phone here. And as you can see, I've been running this device for a little over a week. Now, the T-Star tokens are paid out once a week. That accounts for any type of fluctuations in the power grid, things like that, after the mainnet launches. But for right now, you can expect to see a return of T-Star tokens once per week. Now, this device, I can tell you, for the first full week it ran, earned 66.52 T-Star tokens. Okay. In the previous week, wasn't quite a full week. That's why it's a little bit less. Now, I don't know what this is going to earn over the long haul or how the other devices are going to do. So I'll do a follow-up video here in about 30 days to let you know exactly how many T-Stars I'm earning, as well as any tricks or tips I find to boost your returns. Now, if we go back to the home page on our app, we can see that there's a grant page. Now, this is where you're going to earn the Nova tokens, and this is a little more confusing. Now, Nova tokens will have a direct correlation to the star token once mainnet launches. Will it be a one-to-one -one conversion or two-to-one? I don't know. I haven't found that in documentation anywhere. And if anybody knows, let me know in the comments down below if you found an exact conversion rate from Nova to star tokens. But once you get your device set up, you will get a 10-day grant, as you see right here at the bottom, the experience card. It says I'm going to earn 140 Nova token in the time frame, which from here is September 17th to October 1st. Now, the trick is you can collect your Nova tokens twice a day, and it must be a minimum of six hours apart. So as you can see up here at the top where it says harvest, I have that five up there. That means I can earn five Nova tokens twice a day for 14 days. That accounts for my 140 Nova token grant down below. Now, if you want to boost your Nova returns, you can actually purchase an NFT. I'll put a link for that in the description down below. But I actually purchased a Pioneer NFT activation card. Now that's a 100 day lockup for Nova tokens. And as you can see, that's earning me 147 Nova tokens twice a day. Still has the six hour time frame in between my two claims and a maximum of two claims per day. But that's giving me a huge boost on Nova tokens. And remember, all of this is speculative. We don't know what these tokens are worth or exactly what the exchange rate is going to be. Now I'm truly sorry that I can't answer that burning question of rewards. Simply put, there's no way of knowing. But history has proven getting into a deep end project early, especially before the token generation event, can be one of the quickest way to make huge returns. But we also know it's also one of the riskiest. So as I always advise, do your own research. Don't listen to me. Don't listen to anybody else. Decide for yourself if star power is right for you. And if it is, do me a favor if you would. Use one of the affiliate links in the description down below if you decide to get a star plug and join me on this crazy adventure. Now, if you've enjoyed this content and you want to see more, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button down below and click that bell notification so you're alerted every time I upload a new video because I'm going to keep bringing you the best crypto information I can. I want to thank you very much for your time. And until next time, have a great night.